One of the things I discussed, I think it was in October of last year, was uh, my comment about not taking as many risks as we used to. And uh, I said, I, I would like to foster an environment where people come up with new ideas and, and uh, new ideas that can make us better. And I'd like to do things that, that raise our visibility, that raise new revenue, that streamline things for students. And uh, faculty members said, you know, I think the faculty would be really interested in that if you'd tell us how to do it, how to put the ideas forward, how to get funding, how to get support. Well, that spawned an idea that has become Waves of Innovation, led by Dr. Lee Katz. And uh, today, we're going to make the worldwide announcement uh, of the eight different uh, submissions out of 160 total that were submitted. We're going we're to show you the eight that are the semifinalists, uh, from which we will choose, we're not sure exactly how many, maybe three to four. And uh, I, I want to give Lee the lion's share of the credit, together with an absolutely great committee that's been working with him. I don't know how many hours they put into reading 160 different proposals, but without Lee, this wouldn't be happening today. And so we're going to show you the eight um, the eight semifinalists, and uh, they don't even know yet. They'll, they'll know later today. So you're going to be the first in those who are watching it in video streaming, the, the, the eight that have, uh, are going to move on to the lightning round, if you will. So welcome, Dr. Lee Katz. Well, thank you. <clears throat> thank you, Andy. Uh, I would say that the community has definitely responded to the challenge. And uh, this has been an interesting and exciting event for both me and for the committee. Uh, I just want to briefly show you who's on the committee. Uh, this, the committee was a spectrum of folks that represented the constituencies of the campus. Alan Beard, an alumnus of Seaver College and School of Public Policy. Jay Bryce, an undergraduate student. Rebecca Carson, Managing Director of Center for the Arts. Brad Fornachari, President of Lighthouse Branding adjunct professor at Grazie Dio. I served on the committee. Barry McDonald, a professor of law, served on the committee. Marnie served ex officio. Dan Morrison, a new professor at Seaver College. Linda Poland, GSEP. Christopher Roven, uh, MBA student at Grazie Dio. And Dean Weber served on the committee as well. Uh, just briefly, uh, these were the kinds of uh, attributes we were looking for in the proposals. The proposals that would enhance teaching and learning, foster scholarly and creative activity, create new revenue, streamline our organization, and strengthen the university brand. Uh, so what we're announcing today, these are more or less planning grants. These are phase one grants. These folks will receive up to $5,000 to get them ready to submit a phase two proposal that I'll talk a little bit more about here in just a second. And we really did see some bold ideas and some innovative ideas. And the committee, as Andy mentioned, worked a long time reading about 400 pages of text uh, of these proposals that were submitted. 160, roughly 160 proposals were submitted from all parts of the, the campus community. Uh, the committee quickly got to a top 40 or so. That top 40, uh, if they are not in the final eight, we will share with directors and deans so that they may follow up on ideas uh, that, has that have come out of the community. So uh, I, I must say that the committee, I, I would say most faculty and staff were not all that jazzed to work on committees, but this was a committee that really got into it and, and did spend long hours. And in fact, this was a pretty tech savvy committee. They were tweeting about how inspired they were uh, as they read the proposals. So I, I really congratulate the committee and the community for a great turnout in terms of uh, the number of proposals that were submitted. So uh, these are the eight, and as Andy mentioned, uh, these folks don't even know. So uh, we'll make a little news here this morning, and uh, maybe they're tuning in to the President's briefing, or maybe they'll watch it later. Uh, again, uh, it's estimated that two to four of these will reach final funding. Joe Frisch from Seaver College, a biodegradable uh, plastic prepared that is environmentally friendly, a technology, an environmentally friendly technology. Mark Chen from Graduate School of Education and Psychology, Center for Gameful Design. 
Sue O, oh, an undergraduate, a Seaver student, called proposal called College Connections. A group of undergraduates submitted this one. The idea is that in an organized fashion, they would mentor underprivileged uh, high school students uh, on applying for college. A process that's difficult for all high school students, but uh, sharing their knowledge and their wisdom with a group um, that could probably benefit from their expertise. Terry uh, Tompkins, Graduate School of Business and Management, designing a curriculum and delivery system for next generation executive students. June Schmeider Ramirez from GSEP, the Doctorate in Global Leadership, PhD. Charles Hall, staff, Seaver College, Global Oceanic. This proposal is about working with other Christian organizations and forming a possible semester at sea for just a, a group of Christian colleges. Uh, and I think a, a pretty bold idea. Rhiannon Ballard from University Staff, a dorm that would be dedicated to sustainability and living green. And Michael Dittmore from Seaver College, a Pepperdine executive preceptorial to bring back alums, professional alums, and you know, mentoring and, and working with um, our undergraduate students. So those are the eight that have made it to phase one. Uh, can we give them a round of applause? So what this means is they've just received a new assignment. And that new assignment is by January 15, uh, they need to have a more detailed proposal with a more detailed budget and prepared to give a, our version of a TED Talk. We didn't want to steal a TED Talk, so we're calling them WITS, Waves of Innovation Talks, and a WIT event. I guess that would be a WIT-E. Uh, so, um, <laughs> I'm not the best at acronyms, but uh, you know, I tried to work that in. So we want to make this a fun university event. We hope you can attend. Uh, these folks will be under the gun to kind of make their ideas uh, sound interesting, and they have six to eight minutes to do it. And uh, we'll, you'll hear more about that uh, as we get closer to January 15. So thank you very much.